Adriana, thank you. Today the Brewers preparing to take on the Minnesota Twins this afternoon. It's been nearly a year and a half since the ballpark has hosted fans. Today with safety top of mind, thousands of fans are being welcomed back as well. Our Ryan Jenkins is among the folks that are in there early this morning at American Family Field with an update on what you can expect if you do head out to the ballpark today. Good morning, Ryan. Tom, Mary Jo, good morning. Yes, the opening day buzz here at the ballpark is certainly alive. And you take a look behind me, you can see, yeah, we're not alone in here. There's the crew getting the field, the already perfect looking field, getting getting ready for it to look even better, I guess. <laughs> here we are. Uh, you know, thousands of empty seats here will soon be filled with 11, 12,000 uh, fans. Once again, the health department approving 25% capacity inside the ballpark at the start of the season here. So let's talk about what those fans can expect when they show up. The Brewers taking on the Twins at 110 this afternoon. Tickets are sold out, but those who have tickets need to be prepared to adapt. Once you're here, face masks will, of course, be required whenever fans are not eating or drinking. Social distancing, a big deal, too. Fans will be seated in pods with the people that they came with or bought tickets with away from others. And then anyone attending games this season is going to be encouraged by staff here to download the MLB Ballpark app. It gives fans access to their tickets, their parking passes, and you can also order concessions and find a lot of other information there. Helps limit the touch points throughout the ballpark. The entire ballpark is cashless here, so you have to have cash. There are some kiosks that you can visit to exchange cash for prepaid cards if you're coming out here, but just know no cash payments are being accepted throughout the ballpark. Even with the cashless ballpark, the MLB is excited to be back in action. At least one outside group uh, team marketing report said that the Brewers lost more than $178 million in game day revenue since the start of the pandemic. We're going to have a lot more on this coming up uh, throughout the morning. And when we check back in with you next, we're going to have a live interview with the president of the uh, business operations here. We're going to talk about these changes uh, and how that will impact fan experience. But for now, we're going to send it back to you in the studio. All right, Ryan, thank you so much.